Welcome, dear friends and believers. This is True Sabbath. This is the Nazarene ministry coming to you. And let me introduce myself. I am Michael Whitlock, the senior pastor for this ministry. Today it has come to my attention through the Holy Spirit. As I woke up this morning, the Sacred Father was guiding me into the light of his wisdom and asking me to talk about how important relationships are. Today we're going to be talking about that. There are so many of you out there that are lonely. You are hurting and you are settling for relationships that you really don't belong in. And this not only includes marriage, but this also includes friendships. We have to be guided by the Father God. He is our holy guide to that divine match in friendship and relationship and marriage. And when he takes over our hearts, he will lead us to exactly the right relationship that we belong in, whether it's just friendship or love, relationship or marriage. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, guide us this day on your true Sabbath, rest our hearts, heal our hearts from loneliness, from that feeling of, is there someone out there for me? Help us, Father God, to find your perfect match. Lead them to us and us to them so that we will have that lifelong friendship love, and marriage that we are all looking for. We pray this in the blood name of Yeshua Messiah, Jesus Christ, the Nazarene. Amen. Friends, turn your Bibles to, I'm reading from the Holy Scriptures, and this is, of course, from the Hebrew to English, and I advise you to get a copy of this. And if you need help getting a copy, please contact us and we'll guide you. Turn to Proverbs 31. Now in Proverbs 31, starting in verse 10, who does find a capable wife? For she is worth far more than rubies. The heart of her husband shall trust her. Her. The biggest downfall that I see in so many people that are contacting me to pray for them for marriage, for their relationship, for friendship, is a trust and respect problem. We must respect each other to build that trust. We have to go beyond what the world and media is trying to teach us. We have to focus on the heart of the person, inside out first, not outside in. So many men and women are trying to sell themselves from the outside. No, we must find the heart of the person that we're going to spend our lives with. Now it goes on to say, the heart of her husband shall trust her. And he has no lack of gain. She shall do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Now, that goes both ways. A man cannot verbally abuse a woman, physically abuse a woman, and do her evil. And neither can a woman do the same to a man. We must come together in a mutual fairness, respect, trust, and love for each other. And start with a kindness. I say it all the time. Kindness to the end. Now think about the love, respect, and trust, and kindness that our sacred Savior had, even from the cross, after being barbarically, brutally tortured. He cried out, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. This is so much the ultimate love that we all need. 
Now, here's the key factor, forgiveness. We're not perfect. I'm not perfect. And the lady that God will match me with, she's not perfect either. I have to embrace her differences. And I have to be kind with her till God comes us home. Kind to the end. God will bring us home together. And we will spend an eternity together when God matches you to your perfect divine match. We read on, and it says, She shall seek wool and flax, and with delight she works with her hands. She shall be as the ships of Tarshish. She brings in her food from afar. She also rises while it is still night and provides food for her household and a person for her girls. Now, our children, our sons, our daughters, she provides a portion for. This is so important that we find the divine match because this brings out the natural fatherhood and motherhood of the two people who have children. So many people are in relationships, I've seen it too many times, where they don't understand how to be fathers and mothers. Could it be because they're with the wrong person? Because when you're with the right divine match of the Father God Almighty, that natural fatherhood, that natural motherhood will come from you. Now we read on quickly and it says, She shall consider a field and buy it. So in other words, even the wife is thinking in a very prosperous way, led by the Holy Spirit, how to invest, what to do. Not all of the burden of money is on just the man. After all, in Genesis, why did the Father God create women? To be helpmates to the man. But that also means fairness. The man is supposed to help her in the ways and gifts he is given. But women are also given the gifts of prosperity. So gentlemen, don't stop them when they're out there looking for the ways that they're going to help the family through prosperity, investment, etc. She shall consider a field and buy it. From her profits, she shall plant a vineyard. She shall gird herself with strength. Think about these words. And strengthen her arms. Now, today in modern society, I see so many ladies that have taken this so seriously. I see them at the gym. They're working out. They're not just feminine, weak vessels anymore. They're feminine, strong vessels now. She shall taste when her gain is good. Her lamp does not go out by night. She shall stretch out her hands to the distaff, and her hand shall hold the spindle. She shall extend her hand to the poor, and shall and she shall reach out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow for her household. For all her household is dressed in scarlet. She shall make tapestry for herself. She is dressed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is known in the gates. When he sits among the elders of the land, she shall make fine linen and sell them and shall give girdles for the merchants strength and splendor are her garments and she rejoices in time to come she shall open her mouth with wisdom and her tongue is the torah of kindness dear friends read this proverb 31 this is the divine match that we must have, man and woman, being brought together by God. Let, mo let no man put asunder what God is doing together. 
Until we meet again, once again, this is the Nazarene ministry. Call us. You need counsel for your loving relationship. Give us a call. You'll see our number. Thank you so much. Amen.